jiu-jitsu practitioner. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 23 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Gilbert Durinho Burns. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 19 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Kingston, Jamaica, Jackson! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. You ready? All right, round one underway here, and most of you will not soon forget the effort turned in by this young man his last time out. A blistering victory by TKO. Now he'll try to keep... Oh! Back to the feet. All right, here we go. Early round one. Going to be very interesting to see how long this fight stays upright given the fact that he is so good with his ground game and submissions. He has to try to find a way to get to the mat. Even if he just drives in the takedown just to fall back to his back and start a grappling exchange. Wow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. We'll finish this fight. Back to the feet. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh! Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Burns gets in the clinch. And he gets it. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He gets right back up. I mean, what an ankle pick. If he would have drove into his opponent, maybe he would have secured the top position. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Whiffs on that offering. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Oh, too easy. Again, he goes for the takedown and once again plants his opponent firmly on his back. It's like watching a movie on repeat. Huh. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Oh! <laughs> Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. He got his bad. Oh, diving punch lands. Burns lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to haunt. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately and he's landing to get damage on. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's gotta beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked. <laughs> Final seconds of round one. What a round. All right, let's get to round two.
Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He we now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout Jackson. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the biggest.